I'm really happy to present some of the main results of the Stimon Edu Erasmus Plus project, uh, which uh, is related to the educators' competencies development for STEAM education. These results include the competency framework for STEAM educators and an online self-assessment tool. Uh, during uh, this presentation, I will present uh, the need the development methodology in the scope of the STEAM competence framework for educators. Then I will present in more detail the structure and the contents of the framework and some of the practical uses of it during the project, which includes the training program for STEAM educators, the job profiles development, and finally the self-assessment tool for STEAM education. So, uh, in this project, we followed a competency-based perspective with the development of the STEAM competence framework with the aim to support educators' preparation in STEAM education as the approach of STEAM education has created the need for education system reform and uh, better preparation of educators is one of the main challenges of this required reform. Uh, as teaching strategies are changing, educators need to update their competence profiles in order to face these new approaches. And as STEAM education is quite new, uh, there is limited consideration of uh, the challenges that the educators face in implementing uh, integrated STEAM curriculum effectively, while guidance for educators in terms of how to effectively teach STEAM-related courses is lacking. Uh, in general, uh, competency frameworks and profiles assist in effective learning and development by identifying the specific knowledge, skills and abilities uh, which are necessary for successful performance in a job. More specific, uh, when you are talking to educators, competency profiles are also used to promote best practices, provide educators with a clear focus of goal settings for professional growth and efficiency, and also help as a guide for educators' training and professional development activities. So in order to develop this competence framework and methodology, was followed, uh, which included multiple phases. Some of them include desk and field research in order to align with professional development requirements in different countries and levels of education. Activities that were performed uh, through the STEAM on Edu community during uh, the first year of the project. We also exploit European competency frameworks, such as the European Framework for the Digital Competencies for Educators, the Digicom Edu. Some related procedures regarding STEAM education teaching competency, the European Framework uh, for Teachers' Competencies, uh, the report of the STEM competencies uh, for the 21st century by UNESCO, and some other related reports. Uh, this developed uh, framework has two specific aims. The first one is to be used by educators for self-evaluation purposes as a self-assessment tool uh, to evaluate themselves and find specific competencies that ne they need to improve. And the second is to support professional development of STEAM educators, both as a guide for the formulation of the learning outcomes of, of specific training programs and as an assessment tool for the evaluation of the train program. Uh, here you can see the structure of the framework. At the top level, we have the perspectives, which represent the different roles that educators have. Each perspective includes one or more areas in which a set of competencies that have a related topic are grouped. Uh, so, the developed competency framework is a complete set of competencies following a holistic approach with a various perspectives and by accommodating several roles of the STEAM educator, such as teacher, content creator, designer, manager. We have uh, five perspectives with 16 different competency areas and uh, 44 different competencies. Here is the overview of the perspectives and all the 16 competency areas. Going deeper, 
uh, on the framework, the first perspective represents the educator as teacher, training, tutor, and includes all the required educators' competencies during an educational procedure that helps students learn. It includes six different areas, as we can see here, the pedagogy, content knowledge, instruction, use of content and tools, feedback and assessment, and also learning environment. The second perspective is the educator as learning designer and creator, which includes competencies related to planning, preparing and developing education procedures, learning activities and content that are related in different phases and settings of STEM related learning process, along with all the supporting competencies which aim to facilitate learning development regarding STEM competencies. The third perspective represents the role of educator as orchestrator and manager and includes competencies related to managing and orchestrating the education procedure, the content and the digital technologies in teaching and learning, the lab and its equipment, also group of students or group of educators during collaborative learning activities. The four perspectives represent the role of educator as a community member and includes competencies related to interacting and engaging with institutional business and other STEAM related communities and to apply policies that promote STEAM education. And finally, we have the fifth, the fifth perspective, which represents educator as a professional and includes competencies related to their professional development alongside with transferable and digital skills that are needed during STEM-related activities. The framework has uh, already uh, been exploited during the project and connected with other project tasks. Some of the practical applications of the framework during uh, the project include the professional development program for STEAM educators, included embedded course and the massive open online course. Uh, STEAM educator profiles that have been developed following the rules of ESCO framework and also the STEAM self-assessment tool, both for education organizations and educators, which was uh, developed based on the selfie tool. Uh, well, at first, we used the framework as a guide for the design of the professional development program for STEAM educators. The framework was also, was also used as educational content during the MOOC on the professional development competency areas. Uh, secondly, we developed uh, job profile examples for STEAM education based on the framework and with the use of the community discussion during both MOOC and the blended learning with educators. The main occupation profiles are based on the teaching, uh, the different teaching levels and types of educators, while some other auxiliary roles uh, were identified that are very important, such as STEAM pedagogy expert, STEAM technology expert, STEAM educator's assistant, and also a STEAM ambassador. These job profiles uh, follow the ESCO rules, the European skills, competencies, uh, qualification, and occupations rules. Um, Finally, we have uh, the self-assessment tool that the, the framework was used, was used to design and develop this tool. Uh, the tool is following the selfie tool and the selfie for teachers as best practices, which are initiatives of the European Commission and help school and teachers assess uh, where they stand with learning in the digital age. As the selfie tool, this tool is a web-based tool. It is also a questionnaire-based tool where the questions are based on the STEAM competence framework. No personal data is collected while it produces a report based on the specific results. Uh, it is designed to, to involve the key actors of the school community, included, uh, including school leaders, teachers, and also students. 
So the, uh, the tool aims uh, to support educational organization and educators in assessing and improving their STEAM education policies and practices. In addition, it helps to understand uh, its strengths and weaknesses to plan for improvements and better support educators and students to implement STEAM education programs su successfully. Here in this slide, we can see the structure of the STEAM self-assessment tool. The core body of the questionnaire includes items which properly, properly form based on the STEAM competence framework, and these items are obligatory. Then we have some optional items uh, so that the questionnaire can the questionnaire can be personalized based on the needs of each educational organization. Some optional items are based on the digital competency framework for organizations. And then it is also possible to add some custom items where each user can create their own questions. Also, include, uh, during the registration of, this, uh, of the school, some data about the school profile are collected with also some additional demographic data for the report. Uh, the tool anonymously collects education organization leaders, teachers and students options based on these questionnaires on how to STEAM is used in their organization. Here is uh, the link and some uh, pictures of the platform. It is online, free, and you can easily access through this link. Uh, it includes pages and with all the general information about the tool, some general guides and sample reports. Uh, here uh, in this slide, we can see uh, how uh, it is a, a questionnaire uh, with the, the tabs and all the, all the questions are uh, categorized based on the five perspectives and uh, the competency areas that we uh, saw earlier based on the framework. Uh, the questions are close-ended uh, with a simple five Likert scale. Uh, based on the questionnaire results, the tool after the end of the active period generates uh, a report with the results using graphs. Uh, the results are provided per role, per, uh, also per perspectives, per areas and per item. And also the report can be saved in a PDF, PDF format. Uh, we, we had the first pilot use. Uh, of this uh, uh, first version of the tool uh, during uh, the planning course of the training program with the educators. Educators had uh, to use it and evaluate it uh, based on specific questionnaire regarding its usability, content, and about the generated report. Educators uh, also commented their feedback regarding pot potential improvements. Uh, based on this input, the final version uh, it is available now on the uh, link. And also here we can see some examples of the comments where educators find it useful and easy to use, while also we had a lot of recommendation in order to be translated in other European languages in order to be more accessible to educators. Uh, finally, all of these results are available into the project official site on the results uh, page, as you can see here in, in this uh, page. Uh, so thank you very much for your attention and for listening to my presentation. Here we, you can see some links and social media uh, of our uh, group, the um, DESI research team that was the coordinator of uh, this uh, Erasmus project. Okay, um, many thanks, Natalia, for your uh, presentation. Um, uh, we have some time allotted for, for question time. Um, um, we had one question which perhaps was already answered by um, Achilles. I think I could, Achilles is one of your colleagues, but uh, perhaps you can elaborate more because we had a question in which you were asked to elaborate more about this self-assessment tool. Sorry, I didn't uh, listen to the question. Okay, the, the question was to give uh, some more information to elaborate more about um, which assessment, uh, self-assessment tool did you use? Uh, the, 
this uh, this tool uh, was designed based on the Steam uh, competency framework. So the question the questioner uh, was developed based on the on the question on the items that the Steam uh, education framework uh, have has. I... Okay. I hope that that's okay. Okay, it's some uh, um, more two questions. Was it difficult to shift from STEM to STEAM? Uh, yeah, in this uh, project, uh, we focus at first from STEAM. Uh, so uh, our goal was uh, at first to focus on uh, VA, where uh, in this program, project uh, the a represent all kind of other uh, subjects um, but uh, one thing that uh, we find it difficult uh, is that uh, not everyone understand uh, in the same way what steam education is so when we uh, try to disseminate these results we have to also um, uh, include uh, uh, what STEAM education is uh, for this uh, for this project. I think that is something that to, uh, we struggle with. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last question from my side. Um, uh, in your description, uh, you made reference to project-based activities. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more by giving perhaps some examples uh, of activities uh, which are project-based, which were carried out by teachers? Uh, I think that you are referring to the competency framework from uh, uh, project-based activities. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, teachers should uh, um, prepare in order to uh, know how to manage and organize project project-based activities with uh, students. So they have to learn how to organize group of students, teamwork activities, and uh, how to uh, manage uh, different uh, um, teams in their classroom. Uh, that's kind of the competencies that they need to um, develop during uh, when we are referring to these uh, competencies. Mm 